Welcome to this presentation on text editing tools and the image editor. The aim of this video is to teach you more about the tool and allow you to better understand text and image editing. There are two ways of editing text in App Server. One is the simple text editing, the other rich text editing. In easy terms, simple has no format features at all and is commonly added to areas where we do not want you to add formatting features. A good example of this is the ingress text. The ingress text would not work if it had bold, underlined text or links. The rich text areas give you the chance to add a defined set of features to your text. The formats available are the same for all rich text fields with one exemption, the footer. That has a different setup and is described in a different video. So let's start describing the buttons. Um, the buttons is set up with from left to right source code which allows you to add and edit HTML code. The next one is a format drop down where you can select heading and button style. Button style is a replacement for the button block. Beside that, you can insert or edit an image. Beside that one, you can insert and edit media, which is the new media insert and edit features, which allows for better importing of external files. Beside that is insert or edit link. Nothing has changed with that. On the, the right-hand side of that is the remove link, same feature. And beside that, we have the anchor field. The anchor field is for internal links. Um, you can define an anchor and link directly to it. Beside that is the cut and paste as text. If you paste as pure text, you will remove all formatting. We, we recommend using this, especially when pasting from Word. If you're working from or on a large set of text, you can use the full screen view mode. It will span the entire page and you will have a large field to work from. Beside that is the bold text feature, the italic text feature and a new one that we call block quotes. This is to add quotes to your text if you want to highlight something. On the right hand side of that is the bullet list and the numbered list. Last, we have the undo and redo features and the find and replace feature, which is nice to have if you're working with large text areas and needs to find or find and replace a specific type of text. Now let's switch over to the built-in image editor. The editor can be find, found if you highlight an image in the right-hand structure, select media, select for this page or other, any other section, then select an image and via the hamburger menu in the image or the hamburger menu in the bottom of the section, choose open in image editor. When opened, the image you selected will present. If it's in a larger image, it will present a portion of it, as you can see here. I have chosen a larger image, so we're going to need to scale this down. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to see the image, so I'm going to zoom out about 50, no, maybe 25%. So now I can see the, the image um, instead of just a part of it. First thing I want to do is uh, I want to resize it. We have added some presets that work for the Norway portal, but maybe they don't work for you. So what they do is they uh, give you some sizes that you can choose from. And if they become too small, you can go in the zoom mode again. Um, let's do top margbildet stor, which is 500 times 333. If I want to constrain proportions, which I always recommend, just check the constraint proportions mark. Um, if you don't do that, the image will be higher or wider than it's supposed to be, and um, we don't want that. When I click apply, um, it applies the new size to the image. 
but there's a part of it I don't like, so I want to crop it. I can use one of our set features, and if you get this message saying that you cannot set this size because it exceeds the image dimensions, just click OK and see if you find something that works. Because we don't really need to set the new size, we just want this box, as you can see I have now. This allows you to, to scale uh, the image in the exactly amount you want. So let's scale up a little bit more. And then I want the guy with the on the, the right hand side. I don't want him there. So click apply and he's gone. Now to yeah, I can do the transform as well. Transform is transform. You can change the image upside down, or left to right, flip it in any other way you want, or you can add a grayscale to it. That's it. But We've resized it and we've cropped it. Now we can select the quality. I always recommend using maximum quality because the system handles the size of the image so you don't have to worry about that. But you have two choices. You have save as a copy or replace original image. I always recommend use replace original image because the no Reporto isn't an archive. You have this image stored in your local files or five, under, five other locations. So you really don't need it to have an extra version of it in the Norway portal. And we do not take backup and it's not an archive. So please replace the original image. And when you do, click OK. And it says, may be cached and uh, you have to refresh or delete your cache to see the image because it's already cached. Click OK and the image is presented. If this is a new image you have to add your alternative text. You should add your image text and you should add your accreditation. It's all described in another video. Um, and now you have a new image in your structure edited and ready for publishing.